on me time. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys, we are Ordinary South African and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be taking another trip to India, but this time we're going to be sampling some yummy snacks. So we've been to India in 2014 and there were some snacks that we tried and now we're actually going to be trying some new snacks. It's stuff that we didn't get to try in India. Um, personally, I was uh, living off Bon Vita and cheese and egg and a lot of vegetables. The vegetarian food is second to none. We ordered from a South African website called India Bazaar. So I think they're based in Joburg, but they import most of their stuff or it should be all of their stuff from India. And I will put a link to the website down and yeah, it is imported. So the prices are a little bit higher. Um, if there's any companies that do directly from India to South Africa, please let us know as well. But this was India Bazaar. This is our blind unboxing from India Bazaar. And this is just to show you how everything came packaged. First up, Jira Kari. Next, we have the Atta cookies. Wow, next bar collection. Gulab Jamun, someone's favorite, Bon Vita, Saffron Chai, some Peanut Ladu, Tikka Mita Mix. Thumbs up. Savory balls, foxtail, milk noodles, Amma. hide and seek. Oops, somebody just hit me down for one. Oh. Finally, hide and seek bourbon. And there you have it. Authentic Indian snacks. So let's get into it. Just like uh, we did an earlier video on tasting foods <coughs> that are made famous by American TV and British TV. The first time I heard about Bon Vita was in one of my favorite movies at the time, Koi Mulgea. Do you remember that? Yes. So if Rithik Roshan can drink it's Bon Vita. magic. <laughs> so that's the... That's the first time we heard about Bon Vita and we always wondered what it was. We thought it was like a Horlicks type of drink. So I got to taste this in a hot form in, in India. I actually had this every day because it was winter. We traveled in January and it was the most uh, comforting and hearty drink, I think, out of everything. He tried Bon Vita for the first time, the heated version here. So let's take a look at that now. You boil one cup of milk and we're going to add two teaspoons heapful of Bon Vita. We'll just give it a little bit of a shake up. You bring it to a boil and we can empty this content into the cup of milk. Small mix. This is your first time trying Bon Vita. First time ever. Oh, 
hot chocolate. Probably at its best, I would say. It's a cereal-based beverage drink. So how I've tried it is with a few ice cubes, with some milk, you can throw in some fruit of your choice and you've got a healthy smoothie. Let's take a look at that version. Okay, so I'm gonna add in I'm going to add two heaped teaspoons of Bon Vita because of the water and milk mixture. And let's give it a quick blend. This is how I like to enjoy it in summer. Oops. So I would prefer the, the cold version of Bon Vita. It actually tastes like Milo and it's so damn refreshing. I love it. That's my favorite way of drinking it. Mm. Two thumbs up from me. First up we have Pal. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Hide and seek bourbon. It's a chocolate flavored sandwich biscuit. So this is the fir first food snack that we're going to be trying. So it's literally a like a chocolate sandwich of biscuits with some chocolate cream in the middle. I'm assuming that's sugar granules. I really enjoyed the biscuits that I had in India and this is not one of them. Let's go for it. I like it. Tea time snack. Perfect. Yeah, probably will go well with tea. It's not too sweet, so it will make the perfect dunking companion. And even coffee. Very nice. Not too sweet. The, the filling in the middle is not overly chocolatey, but it does have a, a nice biscuit taste. I wonder why they said hide and seek. I think that's the brand. Next up, we have Atta cookies made by the famous Aldirams of Nagpur. So I don't know what Atta cookies are. This is going to be a first for me. Do you know what Atta cookies are? Atta is flour. Oh. Wow. Looks like a nutty crust. It smells like a spice. Handmade cookies, 100% eggless. Let's see if you can get this one. Is it jeera? What? The spice. I don't know about the spice, but I can tell you what the biscuit tastes like. What? Eat some more. Hmm, that's a shortcake. Mm. This has a spicy taste to mm. it. But it's got the same uh, texture. This is actually very good. Atta, Atta cookies. It's a plain biscuit, but it's got a very nice taste. I would say it's got like a little bit of a spice taste to it. Next up, we have Gopal's Mita Mix. So this has to be my favorite, which is your snacks. What's a Mita Mix? Your kind of uh, like seven nuts, uh, savory snacks. Okay. Ah, that's the spicy smell of India. And actually the spicy smell of Gauri Maas if you live in South Africa. Yeah, but all the snacks that you normally get in your savory mix. That looks like cornflakes. That is cornflakes. Oh. A little bit more spicy, but definitely very good. You're going to love this. You're going to finish this. This is salad. spicy. Full of flavor. I'm going to enjoy this. Mm. That's a taste of India that I remember. I did eat something similar. When we were there. Next up, we have something that I've not had in India or South Africa. It's kachori. It says that it's savory ball stuffed with graham flour, noodles, and spice added to it. So this is something different. I'm looking forward to trying something brand new for the first time. So this is what it looks like. It is hard like a biscuit outside so
it has a spicy filling inside the crusted ball it is very spicy it's so hot i can't even speak <laughs> while we went to grab a drink because this is really spicy um i got to sample it a little more with my taste buds and it actually has a lot of jeera in it next up we have aldi rams gulab jamun full yes. disclosure we love gulab jamun the indian version in south africa we call it gulab jab and it looks very different i'll insert a picture here for our indian viewers to see okay Yo. this is a massive can okay so it's obviously in its syrup if you know what gulab jamun is there you go me first we recently ordered gulab jamun from our um, taste of india palki restaurant visit i'll link the video up um and it's very similar palki is freshly made it was made on i think on the day that we had it seeing as how this is an imported product it is really good that is india in a can <laughs> for me really sweet yeah <coughs> that i i love sugar so for me if you enjoyed gulab jamun in india the indian version soaked in syrup ah oh, you this have to it. get this this is it next up laddu from kabikushi kabika <laughs> <laughs> also a Hrithik Roshan character. And you see my favorite Bollywood star. Looks like. No, it's actually Deepika. And I grew up watching South Indian movies, so my favorite actor is the guy from Santosh Subramaniam. <laughs> so peanut laddu to me is literally peanut brittle. Is that correct? My favorites. Okay. In India they call it peanut dumplings. Peanut laddu. It's dumpling. That's what ladu means. No, I'm saying that's <laughs> what they say. <laughs> very, very crunchy, but tasty. Really good. Mm. Next up, we have Mr. Puff Jira Curry. Human puff pastry. That you we regularly see in in our uh, South African bakeries, which is your cream puffs. So this is a puff as well, a puff pastry. minus the maybe the cream <laughs> coat so this is a dry uh puff pastry with a uh cumin or jeera flavor flaky crispy light i would say it has a a hint of jeera it's not overpower uh, no no it's not uh, like a a strong mm. flavor of jeera You the puff pastry person, what do you think? It's nice. Something you'll eat? Me too. Yeah, we're going to have to head to our kitchen to prepare these. So, I have these uh it's a G GB's saffron chai. And I've got Amma foxtail millet noodles. I hope I'm saying that right. So, let's go to the kitchen and let's try these out. First up, we're going to make saffron chai. So the packaging says just add hot water. We'll empty this content. Let's add some boiling hot water. Oh, it's a milk tea. That's a little bit unexpected. I'm about to enjoy my cup of saffron chai. Definitely not as spicy as chai. That's masala tea, um, but you can get that nice aftertaste of saffron. And to think, like this whole thing came in a little bag. They, we didn't add any sugar. We're having it as it is. It's got probably some powdered milk, but very good. Let's see what a non-milk tea drinker thinks about it. Yeah, I would say <coughs> for somebody that don't drink uh, 
milk in their tea it's uh, yeah, I can get the saffron taste um, I must say that this is not sweet at all not at all but very tasty it's tea if you're a tea lover yeah I think tea is about not having like too much of yeah. sugar because that actually overpowers the taste of your your leaves mm. itself the flavor of the leaf So next up we have a product of the Coca-Cola company called Thumbs Up. So full disclosure, we recorded this whole thing and it ended up being one big blooper and we are now redoing it. <laughs> so we've already tasted that. So, so let's, let's get at it. So it's like a, uh, a watered down version of a uh, Pepsi, Pepsi Cola. For me it's very sweet. But uh, what made Thumbs Up famous is I saw it in a whole lot of movies recently. The last one that I can remember it being from is the movie Lion starring Dev Patel. But I think it's like just sugar and carbonated water. But that's because they don't drink a lot of Coke on our side as well. So it's actually quite good. Lastly, we have the Max Bar collection. It's actually uh, mini chocolates, comes in nougat, caramel, peanut and coconut flavors uh, well this is the first thing we opened as soon as we got our package I wonder who did that yeah so in terms of the flavors caramel is what we finished on the first day because there was only two in there it tastes like a bar one in terms of what you get in South Africa Mars bars um, everywhere else and we've got the peanut coconut and nougat left so I'm gonna be having the coconut today and I'll do the nougat Very yummy. This is a Nikki chocolate in South Africa. Identical, no difference. This is soft nougat. <clears throat> we are quite used to the more harder version of nougat. But this is the very soft, tender, tasty. Finally, we have come to the end of our video. And the end of eating snacks makes me sad. For me, this was a trip down memory lane. India was a beautiful country. I, my most unforgettable holiday. Not that I've been to many places, but the Taj Mahal, it was a bucket list for me. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And thank you for watching this video. So we're gonna catch you in the next one. And if you're watching from India, please tell us if there's any snacks you would like us to try. And if there's any companies that deliver to us as well, we would especially sweet meats, Mitaiwala. Um, yeah, I would like to have some more of India sweet meats. We've got very good sweet meats in South Africa though. Especially the one with coconut on it. So we're gonna say goodbye until the next video. Shukriya. Bye! Bye.